Hi, welcome to today's lesson. Today's lesson is on highest common factors, HCF. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to identify common factors of whole numbers. Find the highest common factor, HCF, of whole numbers. Identify the difference between lowest common multiple, LCM, and highest common factor, HCF, and solve problems on quantitative reasoning. So, let's begin. As learned in previous classes, HCF simply stands for highest common factor. Do you recall that? Great! To fully understand all about HCF, we need to learn or recall what factors are. The factors of a number, say n, refers to all numbers that can evenly divide the number n without a remainder. For example, the factors of 10 are 1, 2, 5, and 10. If you check, you will notice that 10 can divide all the listed numbers without any remainder. Another number apart from the listed ones leaves a remainder. Understood? Good. Now, can you tell me the factors of 12? Done? Well, if you said 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12, then you're absolutely right. Now that we know how to find the factors of a number, let us find the HCF of two numbers, say 15 and 80. What are the factors of 15? List them with me. They are 1, 3, 5, and 15. Great! While the factors of 80 are 1, 2, 4, 5, 8, 10, 16, 20, 40, and 80. Right? Now, from this, we can see that the only common factors of these two numbers are 1 and 5. 5 is greater than 1. Therefore, the highest common factor of 15 and 80 is 5. Let's try another example. What is the HCF of 12 and 36? First, we need to list out the factors of 12 and then those of 36. The factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12. The factors of 36 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 9, 12, 18, and 36. Now, let's list out the common factors between these two numbers. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. Can you identify the highest factor? You are right. The highest common factor is 12. Great job! Note that the highest common factor is different from the LCM, which you learned in the previous lesson. Please don't confuse the two. HCF stands for highest common factor, while LCM stands for lowest common multiple. With this, we have come to the end of the lesson today. Today, we learned how to find factors of a whole number how to find the highest common factor, how to find the HCF of two numbers, and also the difference between LCM and HCF. See you in the next lesson. Bye.